Hi friends, uh, this is Abdul Ghaffur and uh, today we're going to talk about the inductive reason. As you know that in previous uh, video, uh, I discussed about the deductive reason. Uh, today we'll be talking about, you know, the inductive reason, that what is inductive reason and uh, we will be comparing both inductive reason, reasoning and uh, deductive reasoning. So let's talk about you know the inductive reason. If you didn't subscribe my channel, okay, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, like and put the comment, okay, for more videos. So here is first inductive reasoning method. It's opposite to deductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning makes broad generalization from specific observation. So you can see here that deductive reason which gives the generalized concept from generalized concept to specific observation, specific conclusion, logic conclusion. However, in inductive it's a vice versa from a specific observation to generalization from data observed data to generalization so these are vice versa opposite to each other one means deductive is a process from general theory or an statement to a logical conclusion inductive from a logical data an experiment or concluded data to a general concept or in a theory in deductive reference and friends conclusion we go from the specific to the general we make many observations, discern a pattern, make a generalization, and infer an explanation, which is a theory. So means data converted in an explanatory form, in a theory, theoretical form, in inductive method. For example, we'll say the steps, you know, first observing data, patterns and generalization however in inductive in deductive generalization examinations and conclusion or experiment in math in science you know actually what we do suppose if we are going to conduct an experiment first we need a theory we mostly use, you know, deductive method, theory of, you know, for example, a theory of H2O formation of the water. After that, we will start examination. We have a theory, that's a general concept. What will be the examinations? The patterns, process. And after the process and experiments, we will be getting a conclusion. So that is the deductive. However, it will be reverse process into the inductive. We'll compare it here. Theory, as I give you the example, theory of water, it's a hypothesis, process of the observation, and after observation, or you can say experiment, confirmation. That will be the logic conclusion. Similarly, Opposite from observation to patterns, hypothesis, and theory. So, this is the observed data, patterns, hypothesis, and it will be explained again. So, these are the vice versa uh, process. Okay. Let's see. It doesn't mean, <clears throat> sorry, that all the premise of the induction are true, then the conclusion must be true. No. For example, Harlot is a grandfather. 
hollowed is valid. Therefore, all grandfathers are valid. No, the conclusion is not a good Premise true. Premise two is true, but the conclusion is illogical. All men are mortal. True. Abdul is a man. True. Therefore, Abdul is a mortal. It's not him. No logical reason. So, this is, you know, it doesn't mean that in inductive reason, if all premises are true, it gives you a logical conclusion. No. For example, all teachers are educated. Sarah is a teacher. That's why Sarah is educated. No. But in deductive, if the two premise, premise are correct, then the conclusion must be logical. So, uh, friends, uh, this is inductive reason and uh, I hope that uh, you enjoyed the lesson and if you have uh, any question and comment, uh, please don't forget to write and uh, subscribe my channel. We'll be meeting another uh, uh, video, which is the third part of that abductive reasoning at uh, the third reasoning method. We'll be meeting in the next video. Till that, uh, bye. Inshallah, we'll be meeting in next lesson. Hope that you enjoyed the uh, video.